Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this tutorial, we will be modeling this part of the robotic arm in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. So first I will open a new part file. So click on file, click on new part file and click OK. And after that I'm gonna change the background to plain white and verify the units are in millimeters. And after that I'm gonna select the top plane and click on sketch. And after that I will create a circle on this origin like this and after that I will be selecting a midpoint line and create a midpoint line at the center so click on this and make relation vertical and also make it as construction geometry and after that I'm gonna specify the length of this line so the length of this line is going to be 14.5 millimeters and after that I will specify the diameter of the bigger circle which is 97 millimeter after doing that I will be creating two more circles so one is here another is here so both of these circles should be equal so hold control key select these two and make relation equal and after that I will be specifying the diameter of one circle so this is going to be 3 millimeter and automatically the diameter of the other circle is 3 because we have make relation equal and go to features select extruded boss base and here specify the length of extrusion which is 4 millimeter and then check this box for better visualization you can specify any appearance you like so I'm gonna specify this blue colored appearance okay then I will select this face and click on sketch so I will be creating a circle at this region and I will specify the diameter which is going to be 7.5 millimeter and I will go to feature select extruded cut and I will specify the depth, uh, depth of extrusion so I will specify here blind depth of extrusion is 1.5 millimeter internally you can change the direction from here and then check this box verify that this cut is made okay now I need a plane which basically cut these smaller circle in half like this I have another plane which is this one which we do not require so make sure that you are selecting the plane which is cutting the circle in half so right click on it and click on sketch in my case it was the right plane so I'm gonna create here a midpoint line at the origin like this so for visualization I'm gonna change the color and then I will specify this line so this length of this line is going to be 60.68 millimeters okay now hold the control key and select these two points and make relation vertical okay now I will select the line and create here a vertical straight line and then I will create here a three point arc so one point second point and third point in space now I will select this point and make relation tangent between the line and the arc and then I will specify the length of this line so this is going to be 7.64 and I will specify the radius of this as well which is going to be 15 okay now I'm gonna go drag it here okay so I need to make relation collinear so hold control key select these two lines make relation collinear okay and after that I will create here another three point arc so one point second point here and third point so then I'm gonna select this point and make relation tangent I will extend this arc a little bit like this okay now I will create here a vertical straight line and I will specify the length which is 7.86 okay now I'll select this line make relation vertical just to make sure that this is straight so then I will create here a three-point arc like this and specify the radius it's going to be 30 35.23 millimeters okay then reduce it a little bit by dragging it like this make sure that you have specified tangent relation so we want tangent relation everywhere whenever there is an arc so I will select a line and connect these two points okay I will not specify tangent relation until I specify all the dimensions so I'm gonna create here a circle 
and then I will specify the diameter which is going to be 18 millimeters okay so from center point to this center point of the circle I'm gonna specify the distance which should be 13.91 and similarly I need to specify the vertical distance so I'm gonna specify the vertical distance which is going to be 40.28 millimeters okay and then I will make sure that I'm gonna specify the tangent relations everywhere so these two parts were left and as you can see the sketch is fully defined okay now I will go to features select extruded pause base so depth of extrusion 14 millimeters and I will specify some offset as well so as you can see uh, okay so from the holes I want as some offset distance so I'm gonna specify here offset and four millimeters is fine and as you can see when I, I check the box it is offset from holes a little bit so that's what I want okay now I will select this same right plane and click on sketch on it okay now I'm gonna create here a three-point center rectangle so from this point to this point and drag it a little bit and click here to make a rectangle like this so you can drag it like this okay all right so I'm gonna specify here the horizontal distance from left side which is going to be 0.41 millimeters and I'm gonna specify here the vertical distance which is going to be 11.11 so this is done okay now I'm gonna specify the width of the rectangle which is going to be 21 and I'm gonna specify also the length of the rectangle which is 41 millimeters all right now I'm gonna specify the angle between these two lines so this is 45 degrees right and now I'm gonna select here center line and create center line on these two midpoints for reference I will be using it for mirroring entities and also I'm gonna use the center point of the center line and create here a line which is perpendicular to that and on this endpoint I'm gonna create here a midpoint line and make sure that this is tangent and this is parallel to this line as well all right now I will select smart dimensioning tool and specify the distance between these two lines which is 3.5 millimeters okay now I will specify the length of this line which is going to be 10 millimeters okay now I will create two circles so the benefit or the purpose of creating all of these lines were to make these two circles so this is the diameter is 2.6 and these two circles should be equal okay so you can specify it from here as well so both circles have same diameter 2.6 so I want these two circles here as well I will use the mirror entity so in this entity so mirror window I'm gonna select these two circles and in this mirror about window I'm gonna select this line and it will get mirrored here okay the sketch is complete now go to features select texture cut okay now uh, I will specify here through all I want to change the direction because I want to cut the geometry like this okay I have to specify some offset distance so the offset distance of six millimeter is going to be fine and then check the box so this is how it will look like alright now select this face and click on sketch and click on convert entities the outer boundary is gonna get converted okay okay so I'm gonna delete the bottom line and then I will select the offset entities and I will select all of these lines so like this okay and I'm gonna specify three millimeters although I can move it internally but I want this to be external 
so again I'm gonna select the offset entities and this time again this is going to be three millimeters and I'm gonna select the outside sketch although I could do six millimeters combined but I have done three millimeters and three millimeters and there is a reason I will explain you so select these mid lines by holding control key and selecting these one by one and this should be construction geometry which means they are center line and they are not going to affect our extrusion so make here a three point arc like this okay now I'm gonna specify the distance between these two points and these this is going to be three millimeters okay and this is the reason because I want a little change in the geometry so specify the radius I'm gonna specify 100 millimeters and after that you can delete these lines if you want to or make them as construction geometry because uh, they do not have any role okay and now from this point to this point make a line here and also from this point to this point create here a line so the sketch is going to be like this from sort of starting from this point the external boundary and this should be complete otherwise you will not be able to extrude it possibly so this is the line okay and this is a permanent line Okay, so this is the complete sketch and now I will go to features and select extruded boss space and um, this is the length of extrusion which is going to be 9 millimeter in direction 1 and I will enable direction 2 and I will specify here up to surface and select the surface so this is going to be like this direction 1 9 millimeters and direction 2 up to surface and check the box and this is how it's gonna get extruded so now I want a plane that basically cut this part in half like this let me show you from the top this plane so I will right click on the front plane and click on sketch in my case this is front plane in your case it can be different so I will select here normal 2 and then I will select line and create here a line then I will select here 3 point arc so 1 point and second point here not in the corner and third point and then I will select a line and create here a smaller line and then this vertical line to complete the sketch now I will first specify the length of this bigger line which is going to be 6 and the smaller line which is going to be 0 0.5 millimeters and after that I will specify the radius of uh, this arc which is 500 millimeters okay now I will go to features and select extruded cut since I want the cut in both directions so for example if I cut it in one direction so this is going to be like this but we want through all both cut so I will right click here go to edit features and then I will select here through all both and I will check the box from here okay so this is going to be like this and then I will select the fillet and I will select this outer boundary okay so 10 millimeter fillet is fine 10 millimeter radius fillet check the box again I will select the fillet and this time I'm gonna select this bottom face and 2 millimeter radius fillet is going to be fine and I will select these edges and I will check the box so this is created if you want to change a color you can definitely play with the colors whatever color you like you can specify that and this part is ready for the robotic arm okay now I will go to file go to save as and I will save this file as waste and this is all for this video guys see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching